here today, Jeff Baird of Strip Taxidermy, and we're gonna run through how to score mule deer. I'm sure you get that question a lot, right? Like, what's my buck score when they come in? And Tom. So we're just gonna run through basically how to rough score a deer really quickly. I'm just gonna write down some measurements as we go through, and what is this, buck from you, you killed? Uh, it's a Colorado deer, European, yeah, a few, quite a few years ago. But yeah, yeah just a, a nice, typical, nothing big. Good, good representation of a buck that we're just gonna run through the score because we get a lot of questions like, hey, what's my buck score? Or even just you, have, you draw a sweet tag and you want to know what you're kind of looking for when you're going out there. So. Sure, sure. When you're scoring a deer, you know obviously you've got four mass measurements, one in between the eye guard and the, and the base. And now if it doesn't have an eye guard, tons of people say, well, it obviously doesn't get that mass measurement, right? It does. You just go the smallest place in between the beam here and the smallest place on the, this side too. And then it's the smallest place on the G2, the smallest place here in between this is the G2, just so you know, your G3, your G4, and your main beam. So your fourth mass measurement's in between your third, your third and your fourth. I usually start with the beam, and this is just rough score, and I get a lot of people who ask me, you know, how, you know, if I'll score it, why it's in my shop, things like that. I'm not an official scorer, but I'll, I'll, I'll give them a, a representation of what their deer is. First of all, you're gonna, I start at the tip of the main beam and I follow the center of the beam. It's usually easier to do this before you mount a buck. <laughs> yeah, it, so. for sure. And a lot of people just don't know. They think it's you know, some big mathematical equation, but it's not. So this one would have just out of 21 inch main beam. Yeah. And I usually, when I'm rough scoring, I round down eighths or quarters, you know, two quarters, you know, just to make it easier. I always start with the beam. I go to this. You can do it any of these orders as long as you stay on this this antler to start. So we're on the left antler, and then we're on the G4 now. And the G4, I'm just going to turn it towards you, just so you know when you're doing this, your beam is your cutoff on your mass, or you know where the point ends. So you're like eight and a quarter right here would be. So if you're following the beam. Yeah, because you don't want to be trying to go way down no. here because the point actually doesn't go that far. Exactly. Hard. So right there at the top of the eight is where you'd come to. And that's pretty safe, you know. You get it officially scored, they'll take they'll tape that off where it's supposed to be and they'll go they'll go better. So if you do have a Pope and Young, a Boone and Crockett here, you want officially done. So we got eight and a quarter on the G4. G3 now, same thing. I'm just going right down the middle of its point. And then I can just kind of see same thing with the beam. This point, this point where it starts, and this where it ends, is where it cuts it off. So you're like eight and a sixteenth. But I, I just, you know, personally, if it's me, I'm going to give it eight. So I'd say eight. Yeah. And that way, nobody's overscoring something. <laughs> a lot of deer or elk come in, and people say, "Oh, it's 390," and they ask me to score it, and I know it's going to be 360, 350, which is an unbelievable bull. Doesn't matter the score. There we are again, 13 and three quarters is your eye guard. I usually go on the back side. You're usually going to get a hair more length, and it doesn't matter which side you go on. It matters which, which one you do. And that's two and a half inches. Another thing with the mass, too, when you're doing it, is pull the tape tight. You get a lot of people, especially with velvet, that just barely put it around. You're going to add like an inch, and it's going to be depressing when you get it officially scored. <laughs> you're not going to get it. So you're going to go four and a quarter on the mass on that one. And it's better to do the mass with a wire. That way you're getting in between your yep. gnarling and stuff along the bases. Right here, we're dead on four inches. G2, we're gonna say- And you're always going the smallest the measurement. Smallest you can get. So I'm gonna say three and a half. And then you're three and three quarters here on the beam. So that, that constitutes that whole side, it's been measured. Then I'll, uh, I'll usually finish this side, but then you, the other thing you need is your inside spread, which is the widest point between this. So even if the beams flare out, you can take that as long as you're on the inside, nothing on the outside. So I'll usually pin the zero to the furthest spot I can see, and then come across and kind of get level. And you're probably 18 and a half inch inside spread on this deer. Again, I, I go back to the beam. Just follow right here down the center. 
pinching it as I go. You can take masking tape if you're losing it and just put a little piece here and there. This is a gross score like you're going to do in camp or you're going to do it around the fire with your buddies. Just don't drink too much so don't, don't add eight. You only add some inch half, in Yeah. <laughs> I've had a lot of guys, especially with these plastic tape. So this is 21 and three quarter inch beam. I've had a lot of guys with these tapes, you know, they get them everywhere. They start here. Yeah, it's not the zero. You know, yeah, and it doesn't, or they'll start at the one which adds a lot more. So <laughs> you're either taking away or giving. So that was a beam. I'm gonna go back to the four. The good thing this deer's got a little extra cause we can kind of go over that. So you're like nine and three quarters on your G4, G3 is gonna be eight and a half. G2, another thing people do with these G2s is they follow them all the way back down to the beam. Don't do that. Just stop right at your beam, which is 13 and a quarter. We're gonna finish this eye guard. That's one thing I miss in a lot of bucks is the eye guard. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of my biggest deer don't have them either. Two and a quarter on the eye guard. I'll work my way back with the mass, find the smallest spot I can get in, four and a quarter, four even. And you can see how fast this would go if I wasn't talking and just hurrying and doing it with a calculator. Three and three quarters. And like I said, a Boone and Crockett's going to get a little higher than what I'm given because I'm rounding down eighths and sixteenths to quarters and holes. So you're three and a quarter. Now we got this little extra that everybody wants to count. I count it because it's a point, but a Boone and Crockett score might not to know. You go the length of it back to this point, you're like an inch and a quarter. And then I'm going to go the widest part would only be a half inch. So that point will actually count. We'll total all that together. And then if you want to minus your discrepancies between mass and between point lengths, you obviously do it between the beams, between the fours, between the twos. You can see there's not a ton of difference on this deer. Yeah, it's pretty symmetrical. But his G, G4s will definitely be a minus couple inches if you want a net score. But obviously most people are like me that say net, nets are for fish. So Pretty simple. That was, I don't know, not even 10 minutes. No. And we're talking the whole time too. All right, so that's just basically we ran through how to rough score a deer really quick. Like if you were in camp and just want to put tape on it really quick to know what a representation that you just shot. And you wanna go over some of the quick measurements again that yep. we took? Just real quick, the main beam is your longest, right, you know, from the tip to the base, and then your, you got your G2, well, you'd probably go G1, G2, that measurement goes down to the beam, your G3 and your G4, and then your inside spread is the only width that matters. And if that exceeds your main beam length, you'll minus that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if it's a giant wide buck, and you have some flyers on it, you're still going by that inside mm -hmm. spread when you're scoring it. And then obviously any cheaters or any extras, inlines, anything like that will go to your total gross, gross score. Basically gross score is giving the deer exactly what it has, yeah. taking no deductions off it. Mm -hmm. And then a net score, what was your quote you said earlier? What's, what's a net that you score? Like I said, I, nets are for fish and, and uh, I use the gross score for all my animals. I don't worry about breaking them down. Yeah, because then you're fishes. gonna take all the deductions. This one's a little, half inch shorter than that one and start mm -hmm. taking all the deductions out to get your true net score and that's what when you're entering into record books you're using net score right all right so that's basically a run through how to score a deer pretty simple process you know if you guys have any questions comments i'm sure there's a lot of different ways you could skin a cat here but yep. pretty pretty easy and all the measurements on it and i think we're going to do another video on an elk too so sure to like and subscribe and we've got much more videos coming